At just 15 years old, he launched his first business. I'm not expecting to say solar will replace industrial power, no, but solar will be able to cater to uh, a specific type of market that's being left out right now. At 22, he started a solar power company in Tanzania. And a very exciting uh, part of it is, look, look at the infrastructure. I mean, you tell a student right now who is uh, off-grid in a school that does not have power and they can't, when it gets to six, seven o'clock, they can't study at night. That is unfair. Today, at 29, his business makes millions of dollars each year. If you can offer that solution in terms of solar, and the product is affordable and sustainable, that's exciting. And having our own little uh, contribution towards that, that's something that excites me every day. This week on African Voices, meet the founder and CEO of Helvetic Solar, Patrick Ngoi. The solar panel, this is what the sun rays fall on. On falling onto the solar cells, we've got individual solar cells. You've got the wiring at the back of the solar panel. The wiring now runs into the solar system itself. You've got the charge controller and the battery bank. So what basically the solar panel does is it charges your battery bank. And then your battery bank now allows you to have access to that energy that is stored and it's a continuous cycle. I was uh, born in uh, Kilimanjaro, at, uh, in Moshi, and uh, we moved down to Arusha when I was a year old. Uh, my parents are academicians. Our family was not financially capable to really sustain itself, so I had to find uh, a means in which I could be creative. And at the age of 15, uh, in 2000, I was able to convince my mother to allow me to uh, do scratch cards, uh, mobile phone, top-up vouchers. At the time, uh, cell phones had just got into the market, and uh, I saw that opportunity to be able to tap into that. Ngoi convinced his mother to invest $50 into his business venture. And it wasn't long before he began making a profit selling mobile phone top-up vouchers. They're basically a card stamped with a unique code that when entered into your cell phone will add airtime to your account. Started off with uh, $50, bought a few top-up vouchers, um, went to a small uh, filling station and was able to request the owner to allow me to give the pump attendants to sell uh, the top-up vouchers for me. And at the time, it was, it was really uh, life-changing for me because that's when I actually started making a bit of um, extra money on the side um, that was also able to, to assist at home. The margins we were working with uh, were around 10% which was quite good because I would make at least $5 a day and I tried to save as much as I can and the remaining was of course used to support and uh, uh, mean in pocket money here and there so that I would not really be a nuisance to, to my parents and that is how I got into business. The top-up voucher business gave Ngoi a taste for the business world. And as he finished high school, he decided to take a gap year before university. I was always looking for the next best thing. And immediately after I finished my A-levels, uh, the next best thing for me was cell phones. Cell phones had, had been, the market had been growing. And I felt that during the gap year, before going to university, it would be the right time to actually tap into doing that as a business. Uh, again, went back to mum, told her, listen, I've seen a new opportunity. 
Ngoi's mother loaned him $1,800 to buy cell phones from China, which he then sold in Tanzania, again making a profit. But after a year, Ngoi decided to go to university to study renewable energy. And this is where he fell in love with solar power. Solar intrigued me. Out of all the renewable energy forms, solar was uh, caught my attention because of being able to scale it to a unit level. It simply meant that I was able to uh, have a product that would be affordable um, for those who needed it the most. This is when I was one, one year? No, two mm. years. Two years, mm. two years. I started the company on my own uh, with my mother coming after work and helping me out. I would sell one solar system, and when we had a client walk in, sell a solar system, it meant that I had to close the store, make sure that now we install the system. And on the weekends, I would, I would go on rooftops and install each panel on my own. So the first year of doing business was very difficult. I could, we couldn't afford to pay rent. We, in fact, got to a stage whereby I had to talk to the landlord and tell him, listen, can you give me a grace period, you know, three months, six months. I'm, I'm fortunate enough and it's a blessing and uh, ever so grateful because we, we, we managed to get that grace period um, while I was building awareness, making sure that the clients knew that we were there to stay, we were there to offer a product and a service. Believing solar power could offer solutions to rural parts of Tanzania, Ngoi turned his own family home, which didn't have electricity like many others in the area, into an example of his vision for solar. Welcome home. Um, as you see here, we, this is a totally off-grid, in-the-village home, and that's my solar water heater. This is a solar power system. This power system takes care for all the power that is needed. Um, throughout. We talk about our ironing, you talk about our, our washing machine, everything is powered on solar and um, I'm happy to share with you this space. It was a long road to success and his parents were skeptical in the beginning. We thought the field he's going is too expensive, maybe he won't be able to afford what to do, but eventually he managed to, to get there. He struggled a lot uh, to, to, to reach there. Yes, and he had a lot of vision, mm -hmm. lucky enough. He could see far and see things and, and he could compare ideas with others, share ideas. And that's what brought him up actually, uh, to be successful. Slowly, as Ngoi's business began to grow, he was gaining a reputation for delivering reliable power solutions using solar energy. But in 2010, events would dramatically change his life. Thank you.